Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 17 of my full Platinum walkthrough for Demon's Souls Remake on PS5. This is it, this is the big video, this is the most important one out of all of them I would say. This is where we're going to be shifting tendency all over the place. So make a backup save now. I can't stress that enough. Go and do a backup save, put it in the cloud and do not touch it until the end of this video because if something goes wrong you're going to want to go back to it. Even if you have to replay an hour you're going to want to go back to it and uh, start again. So go start off by going to Stockpile Thomas and grabbing the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. You should have over 30 at this point. Uh, we will be getting three more, so don't worry. Plus you can always buy three more from um, Patches, if you like, or another one from the Old Woman. Uh, so yeah, you will have enough if you haven't used any. You shouldn't have been using any. So yes, we're going to be shifting World Tendency to black now. So we're going to be dying a lot. <laughs> so what you do is you take a stone or use a stone of ephemeral eyes. So if you put it in your quick select, just press square, uh, it's going to turn you human. You should already be in human form from the last boss at the end of the last video from Penetrator. So the, f the first one's a free one. Kill yourself seven times in Tower of Latria. I'm going to skip here, but I've done it seven times. You need to do no more, no less, exactly seven times. Um... And then go back to the Nexus. World Tendency doesn't change until you go back to the Nexus, which is quite important to know. Uh, there you can see you get the, sort of the, the red sparkles around uh, the black eye now on the Tower of Latria. So that is now at full pure black World Tendency. The black phantoms will now appear. These black phantoms are hard. <laughs> These are the tough, some of the toughest enemies in the game. Um, the areas in general will now be tougher, not that way, <laughs> the areas in general will now be tougher as well, enemies will be tougher, you'll take more damage, um, yeah, it's not an, not nice to be in Black World Tenancy, basically. The more you die in human form, the harder the game gets, that's how sadistic this game can be. So, yeah, Black Phantoms, um, I, I would think probably Lord Rydell is one of the harder ones um, for us. He can hit through shields, so that's a big problem because you can't block any of the damage. I'm just killing these guys because they usually usually follow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get caught out by a mind flare again. <sighs> Getting a bit cocky, that's what it is. Um, turns around, I wasn't expecting it to uh, do this one so quickly, but there we go. I was trying to get the sword attack, but unlucky, that is close. That's how much damage those guys do now. Um, so yeah, be careful. They're not going to be one-shot kills anymore either. It will take two hits now. So just watch out. Uh, I've, I think at this point I've already died to Lord Rydell. This is my second run to him. I will sort of tell you when I die, but you can die as much as you like now. Uh, don't worry about souls at this point either. Um, we're going to be warping out of places and you get, you're going to get maybe 10 15,000 souls. You can get that very quickly by farming them elsewhere. So don't worry about them. Just be worried about what we're doing, which is um, killing <laughs> Lord Rydell. Uh, Black Phantoms. And at the same time, we're also going to be getting the Primeval Demons in most areas. Not all of them. Uh, we need five. Well, we need three. Five is a bonus. We definitely need three. Uh, we're going to be trading for three, uh, two souls. So we need to kill three others as well. We, we need three to buy a Miracle. We need five to fully upgrade the Chris Blade. The Chris Blade upgrade is optional, but I'm going to do it anyway or show you to do it. It makes the Chris Blade, um, makes your, it basically turns it into a really strong uh, ring of magical sharpness. So it's it's a good thing to have. Um, I'll give you the, the exact percentages later on when we actually do it. It was right at the end, actually. So Rydell... Is annoying it's very narrow here you can't get around him to do backstabs or anything like that he will hit through your um, shield so what I do it's not best is use uh, fire spray it allows you to keep moving backwards and um, just keep up try and keep away from him, basically because if you use like soul ray or something like that he will tend to dodge it most of the time so if he dodges a, a fire spray it doesn't really matter and it allows you to keep moving. You can see how little damage we're doing to this guy. So that's with the Ring of Magical Sharpness on as well. If he comes close and hits you, he can one-shot you. So be careful. That was close. 
uh, yeah, c kind of stuck on the wall then. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea was go all the way up, tried to do a lock on, and it twisted me around again. The idea was to go up those stairs and just carry on back to the beginning of the area. Um, with these guys, with these black phantoms, you actually need to land the killing shot. So you can have uh, spells known as Poison Cloud and Death Cloud. We will get them at the end. You don't want to buy them yet. Do not do it. Uh, or if they fall or anything, anything that you actually didn't do. Um, yeah, you can see how hard he hits there. Got completely stuck. Um, or bleed. So if you hit them three times in a row with the sword that we're using, they will get the bleed effect. If that kills them, you don't get credit for the kill. So your character tendency will not go up. That's why we're getting these guys. Uh, is to k get all five of them, one in each world, one specific one. That will only appear in pure black world tendency. Um, and that's why you've made the save at the beginning and you're not going to touch it. Because if you do not have pure white character tendency by the end of this, um, by the end of this video, once we've killed all five, you're going to want to restart and try it again because you won't know necessarily which one didn't give you the shift because it's not obvious right away. It's obvious towards the end, the last couple, but not right away. Uh, you may accidentally have uh, let a bleed, might have killed them accidentally if you hit them with the sword uh, or anything. It could be anything. So just make sure. At this point, yeah, I'm still. Just trying to back away. I know this looks goofy and it's probably not the best way to do it. It's just the safest way at this point. Um, the others aren't too bad. There's another one who can hit through a shield as well. But the rest, are the shields can be used to block. And it's actually quite, it's better to uh, go toe to toe with them, with the sword. Here's I'm stuck on the wall again. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing for three of them. Um, yeah. They are powerful. You don't want to be having to do all this in New Game Plus because they are no joke. Uh, you can see how tough they are in New Game in, in now. Just imagine New Game Plus, which is it just ramps up the difficulty. It's insane. You don't. Want, yeah, that's a bad time to run out of MP. So you're going to see me hitting with the sword now. You can see how little damage the sword is actually doing to him. It's he's this guy is tough. So be careful. Uh, and once you've killed him. Uh, we're going to run straight for the primeval demon. Whatever you do, do not, once you've killed a, a black phantom or a uh, primeval demon, do not go, do not leave, do not go to the nexus, do not use an arch stone, because your will tendency will shift again. At this point, it hasn't shifted. It will do if I leave because I've killed a black phantom. Um, and that means the primeval demon will disappear. So... And we're also getting a ring from this area, the Sodom Ring, which we do need, and that only appears in pure Black World Tenancy. Um, you can die, that's fine. So if if from between now and uh, going getting the Primeval Demon, if you die, uh, that doesn't shift the tenancy, so don't worry. Uh, just do not go back to the Nexus. Again, another reason why you've got that backup save. In case you do that, it's just going to be quick to reload, kill these guys again, and uh, do it that way. You don't want to have to redo these things in New Game Plus. Big blobby guy. If you want, take him out. If you feel confident enough, just run around him. Stick tight to the uh, the fences and he won't be able to hit you here as well. And then once you know it's clear, then you can run for the door. The reason I'm going this way and not the other way is these guys, Black Phantoms. This one's easy, easy to run past. Um, there is another one on the other side as well, plus some other Mind Flayers. I don't like them. I'm just trying to avoid them. The Sodden Ring and the um, the Primeval Demon are actually in uh, Upper Latria, so that's why we're going, running all the way through. This is what we're going to have to do a few times. It, it can be a bit time-consuming, but I'm going to leave it all in so you know exactly where to go, um, who to avoid, however, so you know exactly what I'm doing, basically. Um, we're not going to get each Primeval Demon. I actually forget to get one, but it's fine. I'll tell you where it is. You can go and get it if you like. But you don't need it. If you get the exact ones that I do, you won't need it. Um, and I actually skip one on purpose because it's a real pain to get back to and kill. You always want to do the Black Phantom first because that's more difficult. And then the Primeval Demon, the one hit with the sword, that's fine. They die. They don't even attack you. So go back to the altar. The cutscene will take you up here. And then we're going to run all the way to the, the back end and uh, go down to the swamp. And that's where the Sodom Ring is. Which is, the reason we're doing this one first, you may think as well, why we're not going in order, is we want this Sodom Ring so we can do um, World 
5 next, Valley of Defilement, because the Sodom Ring allows you to run around in swamps unimpeded. You don't slow down, you can just run around normally. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually new for this version, the PS5 version. Uh, it wasn't in the original, so it's actually a really good ring. So we're doing it in that order. We're going to go get the Sodom Ring, then we're going to go to the Valley of Defilement. Uh, there we can find three um, Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, and that's going to make sure that we definitely have enough to do everything. This is pretty cool as well. I'm not going to use it, but there's some pure Mercury Stone. That's a hell of a drop from one of those guys. <laughs> Completely useless for me, but uh, pretty cool either way. So yeah, you can run through if you <laughs> if you really feel confident, you can run through. But taking enemies out as you go, it's just safer. Um, you don't want them turning up behind you and killing you. Just uh, take your time. Make sure you get there first time. Like I said, you can die. Um, you will go back to the first archstone because you haven't interacted with the other. Do not interact with any archstones while you're doing this because it will reset the tendency of the world. Do not do that. Just run straight past them and go straight from Black Phantom to Primeval Demon. Um, yeah, you can die. It's not going to change it because you haven't actually interacted. But at this point you will go back to the start into the prison. You'll have to run all the way back. So it's best just to take your time. And uh, yeah. So the only thing we're doing, we're going to shift character and world, t world tendency all the way to black. Um, and then we're going to do uh, pure white character tendency. And then in the next video we're going to do 1-4. And then we're going to shift to pure black character tendency quickly. Um... Yeah, you can see how long this video is already. I'm, I'm not including it all in one video. Um, and that will be the end of New Game. So at the end of the next video will be the end of this game. And then we'll go to New Game Plus. And hopefully four videos or so should do it. I'll show you just quickly run through each area. Kill each demon. Get the souls we need. That's all we're doing in New Game Plus. Is just getting um, certain souls to buy certain spells. That's literally all we're doing. Um... Unfortunately, the ones we actually need are arch demons, which is the ones at the end of areas. So we do need to do up to the penetrator in World One. We need to fully complete Stonefang Tunnel. We need to do the Dragon God again. Um, in this area, we need to do the Old Monk again. So we need to do this area fully again. Um, World Four, we can skip entirely. We don't need any from them. And then Valley of Defilement, we need to go to uh, Maiden Astraea again and get hers. But like I said, we can just skip areas, so that's what we'll be doing. Whew. Yeah, we're getting there. It's nearly done. But yeah, this is definitely the most important video not to mess this up. So ignore um, the guy at the end as well, Yurt. He's still in that cage at the end in the prison. Don't worry about him yet. We're going to get him in the next video. We'll come back here and get him. Because he will start killing people, so don't, don't bring him here yet. Now I'm going to go down. Into the swamp and get the sodden ring. Obviously, this swamp doesn't slow you down anyway, but we need it for the next area. You'll see Black Phantom, um, whatever those things are, those weird scorpion face crab horrible things. There are Red Phantom ones of those. We don't actually need to fight them. Um, but yeah, just watch out. They'll, they will follow you if they see you. Uh, right, this ball of energy and arms <laughs> uh, you can if you want you can run past it if you're feeling confident probably don't though just kill it with magic from a distance um, yeah so that's the Chris blade and soul ray on this guy and it's really not doing anything that's how much more difficult black world tendency is so upgrading Chris blade later on is, uh, is going to make you into more of a glass cannon. You don't want to be using it all the time because it will increase your magic damage but it will also decrease your magic defense. So it is exactly like uh, the Ring of Magical Sharpness. Um, but it's going to help in certain situations with enemies that don't use magic. And um, if you just want to blast through a boss, if you feel confident enough, you're not going to get hit as well. So yeah, the reason I kill this guy is the ring is behind him. So this wasn't here before in Black Will, uh, Normal Tenancy, or white, but it is because it's pure black. It's appeared, the Sodden Ring. So yes. Whew, this is a long area. This is the longest one. 
some of the others we will kind of skip through we don't need to do as much I'm getting lost now <laughs> head back to the cage and we're going to go and get the primeval demon and then we're just going to warp out of here we're not going to bother going back to an arch stone like i said souls are kind of meh i always forget doing this section i always forget about souls and kill myself by accident um and lose them anyway so don't worry about them you can always farm some more It's just habit. I had to do it. It's shiny. I had to go. I, I had no reason to go and get it. It was never going to drop anything that I needed. But I just had to. <laughs> um, yeah, so continue this way as you would to get to the next tower. And you'll see a red phantom in the distance in a minute. Is he there yet? He's not popped in yet. Yeah, these guys are still one, uh, two shots. They were one shot at one point. That's how much this uh, it changes and pure there's a dark uh, black phantom one don't go up there we don't need to just be careful he's not following you he's not seeing you either because they will hurt anything that's in black phantom form hurts a lot more than its normal form and go around here and you can remember I'm just checking he's not following you remember there's two here this is where we've got a ring and you can see there, that's the primeval demon, that blob. <laughs> uh, yeah, they die. I don't think they attack. I've never had one attack. Um, but yeah, he one shot them with his sword, so you'll be fine. So just kill it. And that's it. <laughs> so that's going to majorly shift. Yeah, I think he actually pushes this world tendency all the way back up to pure white. So killing the primeval demon and the black phantom in each area will push each area back up towards pure white if not pure white uh, and at this point i'm going to just warp out if you have an arch stone shard um, and you want to keep your souls use that we will be getting five more shortly or if you're not bothered about souls and just using next your binding uh, you can use that an infinite amount of times uh, either one will take you back and that's that world done so i'm just going to check the world tenancy again and you can see it's actually sparkling again. It is. So it has gone back to pure white, which was uh, quite surprising, to be honest. If I remember rightly, I don't think any of the other worlds did actually shift back to pure white. Anyway, we're going to go and get... We're going to do some trading. You can see in the bottom corner. So the gold coin, you want that. We're going to be trading that away. Uh, I'm just going to be dropping other stuff off. Uh, drop all these back away. We don't need these. So empty everything that's of uh, weight. Get rid of that. And then we're going to get a few trade items, which I think I forget about and then walk off and then come back. No, I don't. So pick up the sword. Where is it? The There we go, the magical sword. We need that. We're going to give that to somebody for a trade. Yeah, I did. I thought I did. I'm going to walk off and then remember I actually need to trade as well. So the sword is the most important thing because we need that for a trophy. And then we're going to do some trades as well. So you have the the gold coin. We're going to be trading that. And then we're going to get a talisman of God. We should have two. So we just need one. We're going to get the gold mask. That was in the bottom of the Tower of Latria. Or the upper Latria. Uh, and then we're going to make sure you've got the gold coin. And then we're going to shift and we're going to get some faint stone. So you want um, a faint stone shard. So you should have picked these up. You should have a, a few at least. Faint stone shard. And a faint stone chunk. If you don't have these, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. The shard, if I remember rightly, is for um, five arch stone shards. And the chunk is ten sticky white things <laughs> which increase magical damage uh, sticky white slime or stuff or whatever it's called um, yeah so don't worry if you don't if you don't have those two um, the rest are kind of important though so we do need those especially the gold coin and the sword we're going to be giving the sword to this NPC here uh, not yet so don't don't do it yet because he will attack you and you will die <laughs> so just ignore him, him there on the right just ignore him for now, we're going to do the trades first and we'll run back 
and uh, give him the sword. And he's actually the guy we need to kill as a black phantom as well. Satsuki. He's one of the more difficult ones as well, but his attacks do not come through our shield, which is uh, it's going to help. It's nice to be back in pure white world tendency. <laughs> Soul remains can be useful against black phantoms as well, uh, but I'm not going to assume that you have them. You should have some. Um, you can use them against black phantoms. It makes them sort of swing around and ignore you for a minute. Uh, so you can use them. But uh, you may run out if you keep using them. So I'm not, go go not going to presume that you're going to have some. Not so I'm not going to actually use them myself. Running all the way back. We're going back to Sparkly the Crow. Oh, one hit kills. <laughs> so much better. I, I don't have to do this, but I always have to do this. <laughs> go and kill this archer. I have no reason to do it, but I, uh, I always go and do it. Sometimes he drops holy arrows, not that we're using them. Might be useful for you. Anyway, up to this tree. And we have traded before, so you should know how to do this. You're going to drop the item. Remember, drop. No other option. Do not use it. Uh, and do not discard it. So you want to go find the gold coin. And this is going to get the ring of uneven scales. So drop. Don't use or discard. <laughs> You'll have to go and get another one. Which is lots of lovely farming. Then exit. And then jump back in. And uh, it will have changed. And you will get the ring of unseen uneven scales. Sorry. Um, yeah, and that's one of the new rings for the PS5 version. Yes, yeah, so that's another one ticked off the list. Now we're going to do some more training, trading for color, colorless demon soul this time. We need the talisman of God. We're not going to use this. So drop that. And again, quit out, jump back in. And that will now be a colorless demon soul. So we ne now have the three colorless demon souls that we need for to buy a miracle at this point because we're going to trade another one here for the gold mask so the gold mask drop that and you're going to get another colorless demon soul and then grab that and then just the last two trades here so archstone shard is going to be the um, faint stone shard. So drop that. These are the things that uh, allow you to warp back while keeping your souls. So having five is perfect because there's five worlds and we'll be doing it five times. And then if you drop the chunk, you're going to get 10 sticky white slime. Um, I'm going to save these for New Game Plus because they can be really helpful. They increase your magic damage output. So they can be really, really helpful, but they are fairly rare. Uh, you will be able to trade for some more. You can only do these trades once. I have mentioned that as well. You can't do them again. So if you had two chunks, two shards, won't work. You can only do it once per playthrough, but that is per playthrough. So if you want to come back here in New Game and do some more trading, you can, because you will still have shards and chunks. It's all going to carry over into New Game Plus. Uh, now we're going to do the Worthy of the Sword trophy. So we're going to go see Satsuki at the beginning here again. And we're going to give him the sword. If you're carrying the sword in your hand, he will automatically attack, I think. Um, and uh, Yeah, I think that's it. He sort of he knows when you have the sword. If he sees the sword, if he thinks that you have it, uh, he'll attack. So if you speak to him and then give it him, then uh, you're going to get the trophy. So we do need to do that. So f don't forget to do that. Uh, tell, turn yourself human as well and let him kill you afterwards. Whatever you do, do not kill him. That will shift your character tendency towards black, meaning you will need to go into New Game Plus and kill another black phantom. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So, yes, when he asks. I'm just going to skip forward here. You will get the trophy and he will... 
attack because he wants to find out whether the sword is good or not. So he tries to attack you with it. So let him kill it. Let him kill you. You can see he's taking damage. That's from the sword he's using. Just stand there and let him kill you. There is a quicker way to die in this world. We'll go there in a minute. That took you long enough. So that's one. Again, we need to die seven times here. No more, no less. So I think I walk back, get my um, souls. No, I completely ignore them. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to actually go to the second area. Because you can just run off the edge and it's much quicker than waiting for him to kill you. So I'm going to walk back here. Oh yeah, that's what I do. I go walk back. Uh, remove him from the picture. Go. I think I got my soul. I thought I did at one point. Maybe I didn't. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I did. And then I think I jump off the edge and completely kill it. Like I said, I forget about them. So don't worry about souls at this point. Um, you can farm the, the sky cows or whatever you want to do at the end of this world. Um, whatever. There's plenty of ways to get souls quite quickly. It's just you need to be concentrating on what you're doing with regards to dying and not messing up with the black phantoms. So yeah, just jump off here. Do that six times. And then we're going to go back. So we need to go back to the Nexus to reset world tenancy. So it shifts to black. So I've done that seven times there. No more. Well, six times there. One from Satsuki himself. We're going to go back to the Nexus. Shift the world tenancy. That's going to move it towards black. Or pure black, should I say. So once you see the red sparkles, there we go. You know you're good to go. Go back to one, uh, four one Island's Edge, and Satsuki will come straight for you. He will not mess around. This guy's tough. He can one one shot you. So <laughs> shield up. Um, yeah, you don't want to do this guy in New Game Plus. He is no joke. Um, you can go for backstabs if you wish. Be aware that your sword, once you do three uh, attacks, will give him the bleeding. Um, it will make him bleed and his health will start going down. You're going to see it in a minute. So yeah, it started now. So all the time he's going to be constantly taking damage. Um, like I said before, if the bleed kills him, you don't get the credit for the kill. So you have to make sure you get that last swipe in. Um, yeah, your, your shield will 100% take the impact from his attack. So don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, so that wasn't my first attempt here in my souls. <laughs> it definitely won't be yours, I'm sure. Um, yeah, just if he double hands, he will one shot you. Just keep the shield up and just kill him. Um, and that's it. So you're not going to see your character's tendency shift. This is at this point, it's kind of dubious whether it has actually shifted. It looks the same all the time until the last two. Um, yeah, just so that's why we made the save at the beginning in case anything goes wrong. Trying to have a look. I mean, it looks the same. It, maybe it's a bit brighter. I don't know. When it starts getting the yellow around the edges, that's when you can see it. Uh, but we're all good. I'm okay at this point. So if yours looks like that at this point, you're still okay. Don't worry. Um, and then it's on to Valley of Defilement next. And it's going to be the same same thing again. This one, I think it's Selen. Selen Vinland. Vinland Bing. That her, <laughs> the Black Phantom we're doing in this area. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go Swamp of Sorrow yet. That's where the Black Phantom is. We're actually going to go to Depraved Caven. Cavern. Caven. <laughs> That's um, the easiest place to die because you can just walk off the edge. Again, seven times. No more, no less. There we go. Just do that seven more, six more times. And then uh, go back to the Nexus. Um, get the... World Tenancy, there it is, Selen, Selen Vinland. So it is Garl Vinland's sister, I believe. There is kind of a thing, you can get a ring if you go and kill the Black Phantom version of Garl Vinland, but we can get that ring another way, so don't worry. We get it from um, one of the NPCs in the Nexus when we go on the murder spree later on, so don't worry. So yeah, just check it shifted to pure black. Once it has, you're good to go, and then go to the Swamp of Sorrow. This is where the Sodom Ring is going to help immensely because usually you'd have to fight Selen Vinland in the swamp. Well, you still do, 
but uh, you won't be able to move around very easily and it can be a real pain. She is probably the most anti magic of all the black phantoms because she <laughs> oh she's horrible. Uh, I'm actually going to cut a bit of the fight out because it took me about 10 minutes because she can heal some of them will heal so be aware of that as well don't be surprised if they do um, if you're on top of them though especially when you know that they're about to go and heal just put the pressure on and uh, they won't actually attack you they'll just uh, try and get away from you and heal like a, a normal player would um, so if you open the, up the shortcut like I did then you can go the shortcut way if not, you're going to have to go uh, through the swamp, so drop down there, go through the swamp, uh, do that curve round the island with the big guys on, uh, to where the first fog gate was, and that's where she is. But we're going to go this other way round, because why not? It doesn't really make much difference. I think this might be a bit quicker. It doesn't really make much difference. It really doesn't. If you go the other way, though, be aware that there are two flies you'll want to take care of. Because they will, yeah, there's some here as well. <laughs> uh, two flies that will follow you and hunt you down whilst you're fighting Selen. So you don't want that one of those to grab you because you'll be taking constant damage from poison. There's no point trying to heal yourself all the time. Uh, well, heal you'll need to do, but remove poison, the status effect. Don't bother with that. Uh, yeah, so at this point, I'm going to switch from the Ring of Magical Sharpness to the Solemn Ring. And we're actually going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the sword again. There, we're going to go later on and get those um, Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. We're actually going to go and get those. But first, let's take care of Selen. Or Selene. Selen? Selen, isn't it? It's not Selene. She's right down at this end, so run all the way through. You can see how amazing this is that we can run through the swamp. Uh, there she is. So the fog gate is just dead ahead of me now, and then to the left. So once you hit the, uh, you can see I've already died. I've been here before. <laughs> yeah, she's. If you creep this way, you, you should be able to get a backstab as well. It's weird. Come the other way, and she'll see you automatically. So what she does, in, she's a faith um, build. She will do certain things like that. It don't think it hit me that time. Uh, no, it did hit me. It's so annoying. Um, that that move she did means I can now not cast damage. You can see it in the top corner. It's one of the icons. It's the one on the right. Uh, it means you can't cast magic. You can't use magic anymore, which is just annoying. Her sword goes straight through shields, so don't bother with that. Um, the best way to try and get her is one hit, roll, one hit, roll. And just keep doing that. And then when she sort of backs off, apply pressure because she's going to try and heal herself. I don't apply it quick enough and um, she does actually end up trying to heal herself. So if you do, and remember if you do three hits in a row, then you're going to get the uh, bleed effect on her. So you will have to get that last kill, that last hit for the kill. Um, her sword isn't the strongest, so she's not going to one shot you, which is a bonus I suppose. And she doesn't attack any other way. She doesn't throw any spells at you or anything. So here we go. She's doing the the magic attack or the magic reduction thing. So I can't use magic anymore. And then that is when she heals. Which is annoying because I'm nowhere near her at the time. You can use spells. If you have soul ray it will block that attack. Um, that's just annoying. So I'm actually going to phase through. Get her towards so we don't have to watch the whole fight. Just keep back and forth. And uh, remember to heal as well. Have some uh, grass ready to heal. There we go. So you don't die from the poison. And then when you get her close and you know she's going to back off and try and heal. She will try and do that. Then you that's when you can go in and attack. Just finish her off. She's having none of it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> she didn't actually back off and heal, which was actually quite surprising. Usually she does nothing but try and heal all the time. Might take you a few attempts with that one. Don't worry, you'll get it. Just be patient and apply pressure when you see her back away. Uh, yeah, that's probably the hardest one, especially if you don't have the Sodom Ring. Imagine trying to do that and you can't roll in the uh, in the swamp. But that's specific. That's exactly why we went and did the uh, Tower of Latria first. 
Now we're going to go and do the primeval demon. This one's nice and close. It's at the end of this area. Well, it's not the end of the area. It's the end of this swamp. Uh, so yeah, you're going to see, you can see the one there, the Black Phantom. It's one of those big guys, so run all the way to the end uh, and then try and avoid them. Don't run at them head on, sort of break off at this point and try and go round. You will probably still get one of the big guys following you though, so just be aware. Um, you could probably use the Thief Ring if you really want at this point, uh, but you just have to remove um, another ring to obviously replace it. So just run, go, 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 go. You can see it in the back there. There is a big guy following me, so I'm not going to bother with the flies. Uh, again, patience. If the big guy is behind you, which he is on me, which I'm about to notice, there he is. Do not try and go for the colorless soul if he's going to kill you. So just be patient. Walk him round, look for the opening. You don't want to miss on this. Miss this at, miss this. You have three which is all you really need. These are extra ones for the uh, upgrading the crisp blade. And that's it. That's this area done. Kind of. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to get the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. But with regards to tendency and world of events, that is this area done. Thankfully, we're getting there about halfway through the video. <laughs> Two more to do. Two more to do. I'm gonna run. The reason I'm running at this point is to get close to these uh, these giants here, so I can die. Let them kill me, and my souls will be close. That's all. Because I'm gonna jump out, go back to um, the nexus, and shift the world tendency so they're not as hard. That's all. Because they are tough, <laughs> and there's four of them. So I'm gonna die, and then I'm gonna go back. No, nope. go back. There you go. I'm going to go back, that's the whole point in dying, uh, and go back to the Nexus. That's going to shift the world tendency back towards white. Not pure white, I don't think, but uh, white enough that it's not ridiculously difficult anymore. Where did we get to? I don't think that's sparkling. I think that's the stage before. It's definitely not pure. Uh, which is strange, which is why I was surprised that um, the Tower of Latria went back to pure white. Because we've done exactly the same here. We killed the Black Phantom, and um, we killed the Primeval Demon. So I'm going to run all the way back using the shortcut. If you can, if you don't have the shortcut, you'll have to go the other way. Uh, drop down here, go through all the little shell guys. And we do have fire spray now. Well, we still have it anyway. Um, which is great against these big guys because it allows us to get away from them. Use whichever spells you want, obviously. You don't have to use fire spray. But it just means they can't catch you. Back to one hit kills, lovely. <laughs> So this is the secondary, you can see them just in the distance there. Flies everywhere. Thankfully they don't come back like Dark Souls. Oh, that got annoying down there. Yeah, drop down, don't worry, we're not going to die. We've already done it before. And then kill all four of them. Do them one at a time. I'm trying to get the lock on here, so don't worry about being poisoned, obviously. I'm trying to get the lock on. It's Yeah, you can see. There we go, finally. Chris played out, obviously. As much magic damage. I don't think... I, no, because I don't have the... Uh, obviously, I don't have the Ring of Magical Sharpness on either. It's better to be able to move in this stuff and just do a little bit extra. Uh, a little bit less, should I say. Now you may be wondering why we've not got um, certain spells like Firestorm or something like that that are going to make these a lot easier. And the simple fact is we're going to be buying all miracles at the end of the video. Uh, so we need the souls, the boss souls for that. So we don't have to go back to World 4 at all in New Game Plus. That's why. 
We will be buying all spells that we need at the end of this video though. So we're going to do all miracles, then we're going to reload the saves. We're going to make another backup. Once we have this ring and we know the pure white world tendency events are uh, character. Once we know... <laughs> it's even confusing me at this point. Once we know that pure character tendency is at pure white and we have the ring, that's it. You can start using the old save again. But before that, do not use your your save got there in the end. Wow. <laughs> yes, it's uh, it was quite a bit to uh, organize this this video. Make sure it definitely uh, worked how I wanted it to. Didn't miss anything. Yep, run that magic again. Of course. I think I only have aged as well, which is annoying. I'd rather have just use some fresh because I don't actually need much. Finally. These guys may also drop Stone of Ephemeral Eyes as well, so watch out for that. But yeah, three. Now, so you should definitely have enough. I think I have two spare What by the time we finished. So you should definitely have enough now. Again, if you don't, the old woman is at the end of this uh, swamp, so go. you can go and buy one from her. It will be expensive, uh, 20, maybe more at this point. Uh, and then obviously Patches sells them for 30,000 apiece, and he's got three. So there are four more up for grabs if you need them. I'm going to use the Archstone Shard here to go back with my souls. Uh, and I think I don't actually forget about them this time. I think I go and buy some spice from Patches. If you really want to, um, go to the once royal woman in the Tower of Latria. She will sell you aged spice, which is better than fresh spice that Patches sells you. But no, I think I do. Yeah, no, I did forget. <laughs> Maybe it was the after this is when I'll remember. Anyway, we're going to go back to one, the start of one for the King's Tower. Then we're going to die here seven times. The only reason I come here is because I think this is the quickest way. There's nowhere to fall off necessarily. So you can have to rely on enemies and these are the strongest ones. You can go forward or backwards, whichever. There's the three red-eyed knights here. They'll make quick work of you. So, same again. Die seven times. And unfortunately, the red phantom is right at the beginning of the game. The primeval demon is right where we are now. <laughs> so, we're going to have to run through the whole of the place. Uh, so, yeah, I've died seven times. I'm actually just going to run back and get my souls. I didn't forget them, which was surprising. So you can see I have died seven times, but the world tendency is still white because I haven't gone back yet. Run! <laughs> okay. Right, two more to do. Um, Executioner, Meralda. Yeah, it's Meralda, isn't it? She's one of the easy ones, thankfully. So we'll go back to the Nexus. Just going to check it's shifted. She'll get the, the red sparkles around the black eye. There we go. Uh, I've just realised I haven't told you where the primeval demon is in um, World 4, in the Shrine of Storms. I didn't go and get it. I forgot about it at the time, and I've forgotten about it now. Um, it's where the black skeleton is through the illusionary wall. Um, we don't need it. If you're following this video, you don't need to go and get that one. So don't worry about it. Yes, I thought I did at some point. Yeah, so I'm going to go and buy some more spice. Like I said, if you want to go to the once royal woman, you can get some uh, aged spice instead of fresh, which is better. Uh, yes, I do apologize for missing out on that uh, primeval demon, but we don't need it. Like I said, it's at where we farmed the pure blade stone. It's up near the crystal lizard. Um, yeah, you won't need it. But in case, just in case you do, that's where it is. There's only one in each world. Right, let's go and take on the Black Phantom execution. I don't know what that was, but we had a bit of a tear there. <laughs> uh, Miralda. She's very slow and you can hold your shield up. So definitely one of the easier ones. Uh, this gate, so we're obviously right at the start here. This gate is locked until... There is pure white or pure black world tendency. Uh, obviously, we're in pure black. These red phantoms are going to appear here. They will always appear. There's going to be three. They hit hard. Of course, I get 
uh, <laughs> bit cocky and get hit. This isn't, in full disclosure, this isn't the first time I've been here. There will be some souls on these bodies in front of me here. I've already picked them up. They're just normal souls for like 800. So grab them. I was testing out whether melee or magic was better and she caught me off guard and killed me. Um, but yeah, you don't need to see all of the deaths. That would just make this video even longer and pointless. It's pointless to see them. So these guys always seem to drop Crescent Moongrass, which is kind of good, I suppose. There's going to be five up here, so take it easy. Yeah, you can see my, <laughs> there's my, uh, my souls on the floor there. Yep, not much, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, she's a bit sneaky, this one. She's hiding just around this corner, so be careful. You can hit her with the sword without her noticing. There she is. So just edge forward, you can hit her with the sword. And then it's a case of just back and forth. She's just got that big axe, and that's all she's got. You can go for backstabs if you can get there. Uh, watch out if she double hands, it will knock you back. Uh, but apart from that, just let her hit into the shield and hit back. And take your, take your time, one, two hits at a time so she doesn't get bleed, just in case that ends up killing her. Uh, yeah, and if you can go for the backstabs, definitely one of the easier ones. It's, it's easier to do this than it is actually to use magic, um, because she does roll a lot. You can use fire spray, but still, she will roll a lot. And... If you take her down to the bottom end, it's best to fight her up here. If you take her to the bottom end or in that room where she was and she falls and dies, you will not get the credit for the kill and your your character tendency will not shift towards white. So be careful. You need to kill them. I couldn't get the backstabs. It's weird. I think it's because her, her arms twisted in the hitboxes actually further around. But I just could not seem to get them in. So you can see how much she still does do... There we go. Does um hurt. She almost, almost killed me with one hit. But uh, yeah, she is slow. So you can get her axe, the guillotine axe. And then use all those weak grasses up, I suppose. And I'm just going to get the poison resistance ring. We already have one, but there's one here just in case you don't have one. Now you can see there's some more items down below. It's dangerous. You're going to be dropping from... Beam to beam all the way to the bottom. I believe one of them is actually a colorless demon soul. It would be nice, but we don't need it. Um, it means you could skip the primeval demon for this area, I suppose. But you also want to shift this world tendency towards white as well. So probably just ignore them, those items. If you die, it's going to be a pain. Um, it won't shift your tendency, but just leave them. There's nothing of interest. I think there's an armor set at the bottom eventually. Uh, so if you really want to go for it, go for it. Feel free. But yeah, we're going to get in another Primeval Demon. Like I said, it's right back where I was dying at the start. Did the seven deaths. So we're going to have to run all the way back through this area. Over the bridge with the dragon, etc, etc. A um, bit of a pain. I will show it all because that's what these guides are. Pretty much everything... I know I have skipped little bits of fights here and there, but that's because nothing actually happened. But you, uh, if you, just in case you don't remember, for whatever reason, we'll get you there. Uh, yeah, so there's a ring that um, Bior will drop once we kill him um, for our black character tendency. But we need to go to the end of 1-4 first, and Bior will take on a dragon there. So... If he dies and you don't get the ring for whatever reason from Bior, there is another way to get it, and it's go to the dragon's nest in pure white world tendency. And because we're shifting the world tendency back towards white with the black, the black phantom and the um, the primeval demon, now that's what we're going doing this one especially, is uh, we have another boss to kill here. So we can easily get this place back to pure white. And then you can go visit the dragon's nest which was right at the start, it's in 1-1. One, one. Uh, we did go there very briefly, but the dragons were there, so we didn't bother. Uh, they'll be gone, the dragons will be gone, and there's actually a uh, a ring there, the same one that Bjor drops, but we should be able to get it from Bjor uh, with, without problem, 
but just in case because he if he dies or you sort of warp away while he's fighting the dragon um, he can disappear it's weird uh, I've looked everywhere for him when that happens but I, I can't actually find him so we get the ring a different way if we need to we will kill the blue dragon um, so you, you can actually kill the red dragon the one that's bothering us now if you really want as well with um, magic on top of one of the towers here so you can clear the nest a different way but if we can get it to pure white it's going to be the quicker way just make sure there we go so yeah this obviously is a lot easier this area because we're overpowered for it so everyone dies in one hit and that's why I'm just going through for the this guy nearly gets me Ooh. <laughs> But he dies in one hit as well. Nearly there now. Nearly at the end of this world. Now we've just got one left. Stonefang tunnel. And that's it. We're clear. The hardest part of the platinum, I would say, is done. Once you have this allies ring, you can relax. Because tendency doesn't matter anymore, really. We will be shifting to pure black character tendency by killing everyone, but we'll be doing that uh, with a reload save so we can bring it back to pure white because having pure white character tendency makes the game easier. Having pure black character tendency makes it more difficult. So we want to make things easier. So we will be doing that. We'll also be getting the two uh, multiplayer trophies out of the way in the next uh, episode as well there be fairly quick hopefully one is for helping a player kill a demon so any doesn't matter you're just gonna put your your sign on the floor and um, help them and one is for killing a player so basically you invade them as a red phantom and killing them that messes with your character tendency so that's why we're leaving it and we'll do it once we've uh, once we've backed up the save. We'll do that one. Here he is, finally. That was a long old trek. So same again. I'm just going to pick up this soul, and I'm going to just walk back to the nexus and go where. Uh, Stonefang Tunnel. And then we've got the final Black Phantom. So die six times, you see there it says die six times instead of seven because you should have died once in human form. Uh, in one of the previous videos, we started dying there. Uh, if not, die seven times if you need to. But it shouldn't be at pure white at this point. And just drop off my. Um, souls again get some spice why not could really do with age spice but for the sake of uh, not running through the uh, tower of latria again i'll just pick up some other fresh stuff not as good but uh it's there <laughs> right go to the tunnel city or whichever wherever you want to die you could probably go to the other place world uh two one so the first place and run off the edge it's probably just as quick uh, I don't actually end up using these to die because I thought they'd do more damage, but they don't really do that much damage. It's about the same as one of those pickaxe guys hitting you. So just let the pickaxe guys hit you and uh, kill you. But yeah, die six times or seven if you haven't already died here once um, to get it down. So yeah, just keep doing that. And then the, the Black Phantom here is nice and close, and we're going to ignore the Primeval Demon here because it's right at the start. It's uh, it's down the lift, not the one where the um, the smith is, the one that we went down briefly at the first tower. It's right at the start, so getting back to that would be a real pain. So there we are, checked it's at pure black, so that tower there that's in the picture, <laughs> that's where it is. Um, and it's a real pain to get to from where we are, because we have to go all the way down to Flame Lurker basically, and then come all the way back up, and you have to go through all the, the horrible tunnels and stuff. We've got five colourless demon souls at this point. We don't need another one. 
so uh, that's fine and we'll, we won't be back in this world obviously we will be in new game plus but we can shift the world tendency then because world and character tendency does carry over to uh, new game plus so that's another good reason not to keep it a pure black in the middle is fine because we will shift it by killing the bosses anyway Right, here he is. This isn't my first time down here, as you can see. He's a Paramancer, so switch to the Ring of Magical Dullness is going to help you here. Um, and go for sword attacks. He has three um, fire attacks that he uses and a sword. Uh, the sword doesn't do too much damage, um, but the fire attacks can if he gets you. I think he's buffing himself, though. I'm not actually sure exactly what he's doing. He'll use fire, uh, fire spray, so the one that we've been using... Um, you can block that fairly easy with your shield. He'll do fireball, that one, which uh, you need to avoid. And then he also does, I forget its name, but it's kind of a, a shorthand blast. It's like a fire punch almost. He'll do it. That's the one you need to definitely avoid. That will kill you. And yeah, it's just back and forth. Just um, shield up. That wasn't shield up, obviously. I was going in for the attack. Uh, two, three hits, get out. Here he is winding up. <laughs> there he is with his uh, again. If he's got bleed on him, make sure you get that last hit in. That is imperative. You don't want to have to restart this whole process again. At this point, this is the last one. Once you've done this, you're at pure white. Carrot. That's the one you need to avoid. So he's sort of like a flame punch almost. Uh, once he does that kind of that one, he has a quite a cooldown, quite a long cooldown, so you can go in and get the three hits. Uh, yeah, it's just not worth going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him with magic. It's just uh, better to use swords. I prefer swords. If you really wanted to, you could uh, keep at a semi um, mid-distance away from him and force him to use not necessarily magic, but um, the sword and use fire spray. That might be quicker. Who knows? But uh, I'd pr I've always preferred using the sword with this guy. Oh, that was a strong hit. <laughs> See, this is the reason why we have the Ring of Magical Dullness as well. Because it does negate quite a bit of the damage that he's sending our way. So we've still got the bleed effect on. I do need to make sure I hit that, uh, that last hit. So we're getting very close. I think I get another combo in here. Or the backstab. That's right. And it doesn't quite kill him. So this is close. I need to get that last hit in there. That was close. But we did. And you're going to see the uh, character standing there. It's just popped. It happens instantly. It is now at pure white. So at this point, check if you have pure white character tendency. It's the same as the world. It will have the sparkles around it. If it doesn't have the sparkles around it, then something's gone wrong. And you're going to need to reload that save and try again. That's why we did it at the start because you might not you may not necessarily know where it wrong went wrong, and if you save on top of um, on top of it, you're gonna have to go into New Game Plus and do it, and that you don't want to do. There is one more way to get white character tendency, and that is to do the old monk boss online and let a um, a player come in and you fight them. I believe that may shift it. That's gonna be the easier way, definitely easier than fighting. Um, Black Phantoms in New Game Plus. Whew, we're done. So, we need to go back up here, speak to the little child, and get our allies ring. So, pure white character tendency has been achieved, thankfully. It is one of the, definitely the most finicky part of this Platinum, with regards to messing it up. Because it never tells you when it's gone up or down, um... Obviously, you can see it when it's full like this, but uh, in the meantime, on the way up, it's, uh, it's a pain to actually see what's changed it. And there we go. So talk to them. They'll give you the allies ring, the monumental. Whew. That's it. That's, that, that's the hardest part done. All we need to do now is do 1-4 uh, and then do the black character tendency, which is going to be kind of uh, deviate from the timeline. We're going to... Back up our save, kill everyone, reload it, finish the game.
that's going to be all going to be in the next video. So by the end of the next one, we will be in New Game Plus. But before we do that, we're going to get the Saints Trophy and then buy some spells. So you'll know kind of where we're up to. So go see Saint Urbane. But before doing that, now that you know that you definitely have the Allies Ring, you can now mess around with your save again. So go back out, save, exit, do a backup save. Very, very important to do a backup save here because we're going to be using it instantly. Uh, we're going to be re-downloading it. So we're going to go here, we're going to speak to him, and we're going to buy every miracle that he has for sale. If you need some souls to buy some, then buy, uh, do that as well. But it doesn't matter which one they are, just buy them all. We're not going to use miracles, so it's fine. You should have the three colourless demon souls as well. And there we go. Saints Trophy. Done. Right. It's so good to get these ones out of the way. It really is. Um, jump back out. Back out the game. Re-download your save so you haven't got the miracles anymore. And then go and buy some spells. Some stuff you actually will use. And we want to buy some specific ones here. It's not the end of the world if you buy them because we, we need to get them in New Game Plus regardless. But ones you definitely want to have are you want to get our Acid Cloud, uh, Death Cloud. You want to leave basically leave Fireball. Uh, you want Death Cloud, you want Light. Light Weapon we don't use, but it's Curse Weapon on the other side, so it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, light Weapon, and then Poison Cloud. Leave Fireball. Do not use the Dragon Demon Soul. That's important. <laughs> So just leave Fireball, then we're going to use the Dragon Demon Soul, the Dragon God Soul, with Yuria. So she sells spells, that's almost a <laughs> tongue twister, um, as well, and they do unfortunately conflict with the ones from Frake. So that's why we need to do New Game Plus. So you do need to speak to her a few times before she'll teach you magic. And then, yeah, go down and use the Dragon Demon Soul to get Firestorm. You can see it takes up three slots and 100 MP per cast. This thing can decimate enemies. It's insane. So, <laughs> we may need it. That might be a thing we'll be using. Um, but, yeah, make sure you do that. And that's all of the, the spells. The rest of the spells will be getting in New Game Plus. Right. Just before we do this, I was just about to uh, finish the video and then I remembered what we'll do is we'll go uh, back to smithing grounds and we'll upgrade the Chris blade with the uh, colorless demon souls because we haven't used them for the miracles because we reloaded the save we now have five um, or you should have five the two that we traded for and then we killed three of the primeval demons doesn't matter at this point. if you haven't got them it's not the end of the world you're just going to miss out on a bit of magic buff, that's all. So in its current state, at just normal, uh, the Chris Blade is uh, plus, uh, plus 5 magic attack when it's in your hand and minus 15 magic defense. But if we get it up to plus 5 with 5 colorless demon souls, that's going to give, it, give us plus 30 magical attack and minus 40 magical defense. That's a lot, so it is. it does turn you into a bit of a glass cannon if you're fighting against something that also sends magic your way, so do be aware of that. Um, obviously you just switch out of your hand and you're not going to get that buff anymore. Uh, yeah, I've done repair here, stupidly, <laughs> and now I don't actually have enough souls to buy it, so I need to go back out and just get the last few. Uh, yeah, but obviously it goes in between there, so we started at plus 5 attack, ended at plus 30. The, the stages in between, I'm not sure the exact numbers, but it will go up in increments. Your attack and your, your magical defense will go down as well. So if you don't get to plus five, it's not the end of the world. It's just nice um, to have it if you need it. So there we go. It's a plus five. Whatever you do, don't do that with the upgrade. It will remove all the upgrades and you will not get your souls back. Um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so plus five, stop, leave go uh, yeah and that's it for this video that was a long old video that was quite difficult with regards to uh, making sure that was all right but hopefully you got there um, if you have any problems let me know in the comments I'll help you out best I can give you um, some sort of 
uh, tips if you've missed something, whether you can do it in New Game Plus or not. Uh, yeah, so at this point I'm just going to do the usual. I'm going to clear out anything we don't need and all that. Uh, lighten the load, so to speak. Uh, yeah, so we've got some shards and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to do one four and uh, clear the game up. I'm going to finish it. It's probably going to be another video in similar length because we've got a few things to do. Um, and you should have just 26 rings, just four more to go. So that's where we should be up to. Right. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.